In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an oxyacetylene cutting torch. Starting out, you want to make sure all of your regulator valves are closed. The first ones you want to open, turning the acetylene halfway open, and turning the oxygen all the way open. Then making sure that all of your valves on your torch are all the way closed. Then I'm going to set my acetylene pressure to 4. And my oxygen pressure to 10. Next I'm going to turn the oxygen valve that's next to the acetylene valve all the way open. And I'm going to use the oxygen valve up here as the tuning for the torch. And now that all the valves are set, it's ready for the cut. First thing I'm going to do is turn on the acetylene, about a quarter turn, light the flame, and increase the acetylene until I don't see any black soot coming off of the flame. If you're using propane, it's a little bit different. You won't see the black soot. Then you're going to add the oxygen from the front valve because this one's already all the way open. If you've done any welding prior, you'll know that you'll see two different flames. You'll see a darker flame and a lighter color flame. The lighter color flame is your oxygen level, and you want that to be in line with your darker blue flame. If your torch is making a really high-pitched hissing noise, that might mean your lighter blue flame is too far receded into the, the darker blue flame, and you want to decrease the amount of oxygen, because you want them to line up. When the flame's all going, you want to hit the oxygen button, and you want to hold it down and readjust your oxygen. It's kind of like a magnifying glass when you hit this because you might see a little bit of lighter blue flame sticking ahead of the dark blue flame. So you'll just very carefully readjust it with the button down. Then once the darker blue and lighter blue flames are lined up with the cutting button pressed down and not pressed down, you're ready for the cut. Basically what I'm doing is I'm holding the flame about halfway onto the plate and halfway off and I'm not pushing down the button until I'm ready to do the cut. I know I'm ready to do the cut when the steel gets a nice orange to cherry red color. Then once the steel's up to temperature, push down the button all the way down and slowly move across. If I move too quickly, the cut will stop. I'll have to hold the flame where the cut stopped, reheat the metal until it gets up to temperature again, hit the button, and keep going. I hope this helps, and if you have any other questions, be sure to let me know in the comments. And hit that subscribe button so I can get a better welding table.